Here are the top five stories you need to know about today. Today marks the sixth anniversary of the campfire that devastated Butte County's Ridge on November 8th, 2018. Now, it is the deadliest wildfire in California history. The campfire burned 153,000 acres starting in the Feather River Canyon near Polga, sweeping through Concow, Paradise, and Megalia. It destroyed 18,000 structures and claimed 85 lives. It was caused by a downed PG&E power line after a sea hook snapped on a transmission tower in the Feather River Canyon. At the time of the fire, the population of Paradise was about 26,000 people. According to the California Department of Finance, the most recent population count is 10,691. That made it California's fastest growing town in 2023. We checked the latest rebuilding numbers. 2,546 single family homes have been rebuilt and 571 multifamily units have been built, including individual apartments. Tomorrow, Paradise commemorates the anniversary with a ribbon cutting on a new mural and a 5K Phoenix run. New this morning, we've learned new details about exactly how the shoe fire started in Shasta County. A person is now facing federal charges for starting it. The Forest Service says the investigation led them to a landowner who had lost control of an unpermitted burn that turned into the shoe fire on October 9th. They did not release the name of the person, but he has been charged with violations of federal law. The shoe fire has burned more than 5,000 acres and is 98 percent contained. New this morning, Red Love Fire Crews contained a house fire last night. It broke out at a home in the 1700 block of Aloha Street around 7.30 p.m. Red Love City Fire said smoke was seen from outside the home when they got there. They quickly put it out. We're working to find out more about the damage. And on this sixth anniversary of the campfire, one survivor shared his story of losing thousands of dollars worth of professional sports memorabilia. Alfredo Romero lost almost everything he owned in the fire. He collected NBA memorabilia through the course of his life. His wife, after the fire, wrote to his favorite team, the Los Angeles Lakers, and got a response. And the Lakers and several players have been sending him memorabilia in the years since to replace his lost collection, including signed jerseys. He had about $225,000 worth of sports memorabilia before the fire. He's slowly rebuilding that collection, but now says the gift of life and resiliency is what he's thankful for 